Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to focus on the general principles for the software engineering practices. So, the person called David Hooker has proposed seven principles which will focus on the software engineering practice. And these seven principles are the first one comes in the form of the reason it all exists. That means a software system exists for one reason that is to provide value to its user. So this principle should be kept in mind whenever you are designing the software. The second one comes in the form of KISS. KISS is nothing but keep it simple stupid. So here the basic thing is whatever the software design is, it should be as simple as possible so that it is easily understandable and it is easy to maintain. The third principle is to maintain the vision. As we know, clear vision is essential to the success of a software project. So it is necessary to maintain the vision. Fourth principle is what you produce, others will consume. This means that uh, whatever the software developer is there, they should always specify the design and implement the design, keeping in mind that someone else is going to understand what you, exactly you are doing. Okay. Then the fifth principle is be open to the future. As the name itself indicates, the whatever software design is there, it should be uh, sorry, it should be in a position to adapt the changes if required in the future. That's why we say be open to the future. Then the sixth principle is plan ahead for reuse. So whenever we design the software system, we need to plan ahead for reuse so that we are able to reduce the cost and increase the value for both the reusable components and the system in which they are incorporated. And the last general principle comes in the form of think. This is the last principle where placing clear complete thought before the action is always producing the better result. So these are the seven general principles for developing the software. 